Today, I want to give you the first three steps to help you move from a blogger to a business owner so that you can start making money with your blog. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I help busy bloggers and content creators work smarter, not harder with templates and trainings they need to build their digital product businesses and make their first $1,000 plus online. Now, if you have been following my channel for a while, then you may have noticed that I've shifted my focus slightly for 2022. I'm still helping bloggers build their blog on WordPress, but now my main focus is on helping bloggers and all types of content creators make money from their content creation efforts. My goal for the year is to help 1,000 creators make their first $1,000 plus online this year because what I discovered this past year from working with private clients and students in my courses is that so many bloggers, so many content creators were setting up their blog and, and putting out free blog content week after week with no purpose or plan for monetizing it. And that's just a hobby blog. That will not work to make you a significant income. So I wanted to change that for them, for you in 2022. So in this first video of the new year, I want to discuss how you can start moving from a blogger to a business owner. And the first thing you need to do, uh, the first step you need to take, it's so important, but it's so easy to brush off. And that is you need to switch your mindset. You need to have a mindset shift that needs to happen. So I want you to start shifting your thoughts from, I'm a blogger who writes blog posts about a topic week after week, and eventually I hope to make some money from this, to the mindset shift that I am a business owner who is creating a business and my blog posts or content is, is just a part of my business. So let's quickly start off by defining a few terms to make this a little clearer. Let's talk about the term blogger versus content creator versus business owner. So a blogger is someone who creates valuable free content via, via blog posts, right? A blogger falls under the umbrella of the larger category of content creator, okay? A, a content creator is someone who creates entertaining or educational content, and, and it's presented through any type of medium or channel, such as like video through YouTube, audio via podcast, or written words via a blog. The content that content creators create can be anything from articles, audio, blog posts, copy, emails, graphics, images, social media content, videos, stuff like that, okay? Every blogger is a content creator, but not every content creator is a blogger. Content can take many forms and a blog is just one form of content. Are you still with me? Okay, so some bloggers refer to themselves exclusively as bloggers, but as more and more bloggers begin to incorporate other types of content on their blog or social media, like I, I recommend, you know, incorporating some video or audio to get that no like and trust factor a little faster. If you're building a business, the term content creator just begins to make more sense for you. But whether you refer to yourself as a blogger or a content creator, the most important thing to remember is that if you want to make an income with your blog or your content, not just a few dollars here and there every month, but an actual income, you are first and foremost a business owner. And that shift, it might seem like small, but when you start thinking of yourself like a business owner and not just a blogger or a content creator, you're going to be more likely to show up as a business owner, right? As a business owner, your, uh, your goal is to make money and identifying as a business owner will help you shift your priorities. So the second thing to go from a blogger to a business owner, it's crucial to understand the purpose your content serves in your business if you're going from a blogger to a business, okay? Blogging has changed tremendously in the past 10 years, and the act of blogging itself is not what's going to make you money in 2022 and beyond. It's what a lot of people are missing. Simply creating free content each week and maybe putting a display ad on your post is not going to work anymore unless you have hundreds of thousands of page views coming to your site every month, which is really hard to do in 2022. Your whole focus, no matter what content you create, 
whether you blog, you do YouTube videos, podcasts, Facebook lives, whatever you create should be focused around how this free content leads to sales. This is how a business owner that makes money thinks. How do you get your ideal person from not knowing you at all over here, right? To making a purchase from you, okay? There is a customer journey in between that needs to take place. Blogging or what, what I refer to as strategic content marketing, if you're creating a blogging business, is a great way to attract your ideal audience to you and provide value, which is a lot of people are doing, but then they stop there. One of the best ways to nurture your audience and get them wanting to buy from you is through content. But if you don't know what you are leading them to, what's the point, right? This is why I talk so much about reverse engineering the whole blogging or content creation process. You need to start with the end in mind because unless you know the outcome that your ideal reader wants and needs, like what is the solution to the problem? How will you know what freebie to offer them to get them a quick win and get them on your email list? And, and how will you know what type of content to create that connects to all that and leads to the sale? Because putting out free blog content week after week with no purpose or plan will not make you money. That is a hobby blog. And that is what I see so many bloggers doing. And that is why in 2022, I want to change this. I want to shift you from a blogger to a business owner. Yes, you're still blogging, but you are also, you need to have that shift that you are a business owner. And also you need to have a purpose with every piece of content that you put out. So the second step, again, before you write another blog post or piece of content needs to be, what's the purpose of this? What role is this content playing in leading my audience to the sale? So this, how do we do this? So this starts with the need to identify your customer, determine their problem, identify the solution they're searching for, and then turn that solution into a product, a digital product. Now, if you're saying, I have absolutely no idea how to do this or where to start, I've created a blog to business planner to help you get started, getting clear on your goals, your audience, your content, your strategies involved with taking your blog from one that makes no money, aka a hobby blog, to a money-making business. You need a business plan to go from a blogger to a business owner that makes money, and this is where to start. So I will put a link in the show notes below, but you can also check this out at thecreativeimpact.com forward slash blog planner to get your copy today. All right, now the third and last tip I'll give you in this video is to go from a blogger to a business owner, you need to make sure that you are collecting email addresses and emailing your audience on a regular basis to nurture them. An email list is, it's your business. Without one, people are reading your blog posts, they're getting free content and they're leaving. How is that helping you grow a business, right? It, it's not. Your content should always have a related call to action to get your reader on your email list where you can further nurture them and lead them to your offer, which will, which will eventually help them. It's a win-win. They get a solution to their problem and you get paid. <laughs> so an email list allows you to stay in touch with your reader, to build that relationship with them, to get them know them better, get their feedback. And as I've stated before, unlike followers on social media, which you don't own, you actually own your email list, which is huge for your business. No one can take it away from you. And it's your most powerful tool for making money. And email list is, it's your business. So to wrap this up, to start transitioning from a blogger to a blogging business owner that makes money, you need to start with number one, shifting your mindset from I'm a blogger or content creator that just creates content week after week to I'm a business owner. Number two, you need to make sure your content has a purpose that not only just serves your ideal audience coming to consume that free content, but it also leads to that customer journey in your business where number three, you can connect to that person via email and then eventually sell them something because that's a business. That's how you make money. It's through the sale. If you haven't started making these shifts yet, that's okay. Start now. Grab my blog to business planner. The links are in the show notes below and start today because the longer you wait, the harder it is going to be to turn your blog into a business. 
Now, if you have started making some of these shifts and you're ready to create your first digital product for your audience, make sure that you get on my wait list for my new beta course coming soon. It's going to help bloggers and content creators of all kinds create their first digital product and really start making money while growing their email list. I am so excited to really start helping you guys make your first sales in 2022. When you start making sales, like things get really exciting. So the link is in the show notes below, but you can also access it by going to the creativeimpact.com forward slash beta. That's it for today, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.